Hi, this is your host Supin Bhartiya and welcome to our special series on predictions for 2022. And today we have with us once again, Dimitri Petrov, co-founder and CEO of Iterative. Dimitri, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Before I ask you to share your predictions, uh, quickly tell us what is company all about? Uh, company Iterative AI, uh, we build a machine learning platform. Uh, but this is platform on top of software development stack. This platform utilizes all usual tools like Git, GitHub, CI, CDs, and all the tools software engineers uh, use in a database. Excellent. Now it's time for you to uh, pick your crystal ball and share with us what predictions do you have for 2022? Uh, for 2022, we see like a few trends. Uh, the first one is uh, more and more team teams. Uh, machine learning teams are working with uh, unstructured data, which means images, audio, unstructured text data, and so far and so on. Uh, so people need to uh, have some tool set for working with unstructured data because uh, with with a regular uh, structured approach, there are tons of like databases, data warehouses, but we need a tool set, a new tool set for working with unstructured data, uh, with video, images, uh, audio, and etc. Uh, that will be a big trend this year. And another driver of this trend is uh, data-centric AI uh, approach for machine learning, which basically means uh, instead of tuning models based on uh, architectural change, uh, some teams are tuning models on the changing data, changing labels, uh, and this is becoming like bigger and bigger trend. So we expect uh, more tools uh, in uh, for unstructured data management, for label management, uh, and so far and so on. The second trend is uh, deeper specialization in the field. Uh, because before, uh, and many companies still working on the kind of mode when uh, data ML engineer take care of the entire uh, life cycle of the project from uh, getting data, processing data, modeling, and then deployment, deploying this. Uh, and that creates kind of like a lot of requirements uh, for individual people, right? Uh, so you need to have like a unicorn who, who can do everything. Uh, now we are seeing that specialization is happening. Uh, there are some folks like ML engineers who are responsible for automation uh, and researchers like are focusing only like mostly on the research part. Uh, that specialization is a, a clear trend uh, right now. Uh, another driver for the trend is uh, a lot of ML engineers and even researchers uh, like to contribute to infrastructure more than they uh, get used to uh, because complexity, uh, complexity is, is changing, is shifting from the modeling part uh, to the collaboration part, to infrastructure part. Uh, why it's happening? Because... Uh, some uh, uh, improvements and deep learning improvements is, uh, in machine learning. Uh, it's not as active as it was in 2017, 2018. Uh, so the complexity moved from the modeling part to basically automation. And it, it, it of course, like uh, the result of this is uh, deeper specialization. And the third trend, uh, which is related to the second one, is uh, collaboration. Uh, because so you have like a more specialized roles in the team, uh, teams become bigger and bigger, AI becomes uh, an essential part of many, many businesses. Uh, you need to make these people to work very efficiently, right? Uh, I'm talking about data engineers, researchers, and data scientists, and uh, ML engineers who are responsible more for automation, as well as uh, application engineers, software engineers who is responsible for like a serving models. Uh, so those folks need to work together more efficient, efficiently, and they need like a common set of tools. Uh, common set of tools, uh, like 
in in many cases it, those tools are based on github gitlab and like traditional software development tools uh, we just need to connect uh connect uh those tools with a uh, kind of data uh data tools and we need to add some metrics driven uh data driven capabilities for this tool set so this trend is uh, clear because a lot of teams are struggling with collaboration they need they badly need new tools collaboration tools uh thanks for sharing these predictions now if i ask you what is going to be the focus of the company in 2022 the focus of the company it's uh for us data data management was like focus number one uh, from the beginning uh today uh, in, in in 2022 it it is not changing uh however we will be focusing more on uh data centric ai approach uh which basically means uh, we will be focusing not only on data management but also on label management uh when people can build model models by changing data uh changing uh, uh changing uh, labels and this way uh do the model uh in opposite of uh changing uh architecture of ml models so data labeling is definitely focus uh definitely focus for us and collaboration uh collaboration is uh, uh a trend uh people need uh more collaboration tool uh, not only among the data scientists because there are a bunch of tools like how to collaborate among the data scientists but we need to enable collaboration between uh engineers data scientists data engineers and like all the uh all the shareholders so in data project needs to collaborate uh in a one uh, platform Excellent. Dimitri, thank you so much for uh, sharing these predictions and also uh, focus of the company in 2022. And as usual, I'd love to have you back on the show next year to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true and get a set of new predictions for the next year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to hear you again in next year. <laughs>